Everybody said, somebody there, you will touch heaven today. And heaven will touch your life today until you conquer with the crucified Christ. You will conquer. You have conquered already. You conquer Satan. You conquer sin. You conquer sickness. And you conquer in all circumstances. Let somebody shout Amen. Father, we thank you today. We bless your name. We thank you because you reign on the throne. And we thank you, Lord Jesus, because you have called us aside along with you so that we can reign with you. And I pray, Lord, as you have dominion, your people will have dominion in Jesus' name. We will touch heaven. Heaven will touch us. We will conquer with Christ. And everything that has reigned and ruled over us, we're going to reign and we're going to rule over everything in Jesus' name. The spirit of the conqueror and the grace to conquer and the power to conquer and the faith to remain a conqueror, you grant to everyone in Jesus' name. Answer the prayers of your people. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. God bless you. You sit now as a conqueror. We're looking at Acts of the Apostles chapter 3. And Acts chapter 3, I'm reading from verse 1. Now Peter and John went up together into the temple at the hour of prayer. Being the nice hour. And a certain man lame from his mother's womb was carried whom they laid daily at the gate of the temple which is called beautiful to ask arms of them that entered into the temple who seen peter and john about to go into the temple as an arms and peter Fastening his eyes upon him with John, said, Look on us. You look on the Lord today. I said, You are looking on the Lord today. And there is something to get. You will get it in Jesus' name. And he gave heed unto them, expecting to receive something of them. Expectancy or expectation will bring realization. Expecting to get something. Expecting to get something. As you come. And you come with expectation. And you say, this is my day. And this is my time. And I'm expecting to get something. I rejoice with you. Prayers are answered today. Sicknesses are healed today. And the power of heaven will flow into every life in Jesus name. Then Peter said, Silver and gold have I none, but such as I have, give I unto thee. In the name, tell me the name. In the name, tell me the name. That name will work wonders in your life. That name will save your soul. That name will sanctify, purify, and cleanse you. That name will flow power, the power of the Holy Ghost into your life. That name will heal your sick body. That name will deliver every oppression and will deliver every oppressed person in Jesus' name. It says, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. The man had never done that before. The man never got his strength like that before. Or any kind of power like that before what you have never done you will do what you have never seen you will see and whatever never crossed your mind i never saw that before i never got that before it's a new day a day of miracle a day of signs and wonders a day of power in every life in jesus name in the name of jesus christ of nazareth 
rise up and walk. And he took him by the right hand and lifted him up. And immediately his feet and ankle bones received strength. And he, leaping up, stood and walked and entered with them into the temple, walking, leaping, and praising God. And all the people saw him walking and praising God. Look at verse 12. And when Peter saw it, he answered unto the people, Ye men of Israel, why marvel ye at this? Or why look ye so earnestly on us, as though by our own power or holiness we had made this man to walk? The God of Abraham, that God is alive today. And of Isaac is still walking today. And of Jacob, his covenant will never fail. The God of our fathers has glorified his son Jesus, whom ye delivered up and denied him in the presence of Pilate, when he was determined to let him go. But she denied the Holy One and the just and delivered a murderer to be granted unto you. Are you killed? The prince of life, whom God has raised from the dead, whereof we are witnesses. Christ is risen from the dead. He has conquered death. He has conquered sin. He has conquered Satan. He has conquered all evil. And in your life, that conquering power will be demonstrated today in Jesus' name. How? Look at verse 16. And his name, through faith in his name, has made this man strong, whom ye see and know, yea, the faith which is by him, has given him this perfect soundness in the presence of you all. And in the presence of everybody today, that same name will walk in your life. That same power will walk in your life. All mountains will be rolled away. All impossibilities will become possible. And that challenge of your life, praise the Lord. The Lord will put joy and laughter in your mouth today in Jesus' name. Acts chapter 14. You've seen that man. The name got him up. The name raised him up. And the name became the power that made him to do what he had never done. That name is still working. And that name will work in every life. We're looking at Acts of the Apostle chapter 14 verse 7. Acts chapter 14 verse 7. And there they preached the gospel. There they preached the gospel. Anywhere the gospel is preached like here this morning. The power of God follows that preaching of the gospel. The miracles and the signs and the wonders follow that preaching of the gospel. The gospel of salvation and the gospel of power and the gospel of healing and the gospel of deliverance and the gospel of the truth of the word of God. In that verse 7 it says, And there, like here, they preached the gospel. And there sat a certain man at Lystra, impotent in his feet, being a cripple from his mother's womb, who never had walked. See that again, that he never had walked. He's seen other people walking. He's seen other people alive and strong. He's seen other people active and moving. And he had wished, if I could do that, if I could have that, all those things you've seen other people having, other people enjoying, other people, they do it so easily. And you're saying, if I could do that, whatever it is, if I could do that, your time has come. You will do good. You will do well. Every good desire of your heart will be met and will be fulfilled in Jesus' name. And the same heard Paul speak, who steadfastly beholding him and perceiving that he had faith to be healed 
How did that faith come? The faith came by hearing the gospel. The faith came by hearing the words of God. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Faith comes by hearing, hearing the gospel. Faith comes by hearing, hearing the truth. Faith comes by hearing, hearing the pure, unadulterated word of God. And thank God is coming to you today. And thank God it will turn your life around. Thank God if you change your life totally. And he says he had faith to be healed. And they were told verse 10. Then Paul called on him and said with a loud voice, Stand upright on thy feet. Now when you hear the word of God, you have to act on that word of God. And when you pray, you are to act on that prayer. And when you desire, you are to act on that desire. Here Paul the Apostle, having preached the gospel. Here Paul the Apostle, having communicated faith unto him. Now he told him and he said, rise up on thy feet. And then what did the man do? The man did not just sit back there and say, what do you mean? I've never walked in my life. I've never taken a step in my life. I've never done that in my life. Why don't you come and lift me up? Why don't you come and touch me? Why don't you come and, you know, communicate something by tangible touch, by point of contact? You don't need all that. The word is coming to you today. And as the word comes, darkness will vanish away. As the word comes, sickness will flee away. As the word comes, the power of Satan will be cleared away from your life in Jesus' name. He said with a loud voice, stand upright on thy feet. And he lived and walked. And he lived and walked. Your own time has come. My time has come. I said my time has come. Acts of the Apostles chapter 15 verse 7. Acts chapter 15 verse 7 and when there had been much disputing much discussion much consultation and much reasoning and much sharing together Peter rose up and said unto them men and brethren ye know how that a good while ago God made choice among us that the gentiles by my mouth should hear the word of the gospel and believe you see that always think about that you hear the word and you believe you listen to the word and believe the light of truth comes into you and then you believe and everything that is contrary to light everything contrary to grace everything contrary to power everything contrary to the divine purpose of god in your life when the word of god comes in everything will flee away and then in verse 8 and god which knoweth the hearts and bear them bear them witness giving them the holy ghost even as he did unto us giving them the holy ghost the power of the holy ghost will root out every negative thing in your life today in jesus name and put no difference between us and them purifying their hearts by faith purifying their hearts by faith this morning we're looking at the message of wavering faith in the conquering king or wavering faith not faith in yourself you see some people they misunderstand they say can i do that of course you cannot it's not faith in yourself can he do that maybe he cannot it's not faith in him it's faith in the king faith in the lord faith in christ faith in the christ who has conquered he has conquered every sin that tries to militate against your life. Faith on wavering, faith on doubting, faith on faith, and faith on failing. That faith in the conquering king. The three things we're going to look at. Number one, an unwavering faith in our incomparable king. An unwavering faith 
in our incomparable king. The king we're talking about is the highest. The king we're talking about is the most powerful. The king we're talking about is the king you cannot compare with any other king. Is the incomparable king. Unwavering faith in him. Point number two. The unfailing faith in our incompressible king. That is, a king you cannot reduce to the minimum. A king you cannot restrict in any way because he is incompressible. You cannot reduce him, irreducible. You cannot compress him and you cannot make him smaller. He's big, he's great, he's high, as high as heaven. And his solution covers every problem of man. And unfailing faith in our incompressible king. Point number three. An undeniable faith in our incorruptible king. You cannot bribe him. And nobody can bribe him against you. Because he is incorruptible. Undeniable faith. Undeniable faith in our incorruptible king. Number one, the unwavering faith. Unwavering faith in our incomparable king. We're coming to James chapter 1. James chapter 1 and we're reading from verse 5 on with burning faith as you come this morning and you say I know Christ is my savior I know Christ is my Lord I know Christ is the power of God here on earth in man and whatever it is there is to be done Christ has the power to do it maybe that person has failed Christ cannot fail Maybe you have tried this and this and that before and there was no solution. Solution has come this morning. I said solution has come this morning. Uh, in James chapter 1 verse 5, it says, If any of you, any of you, any of you, that's universal. Any of you, that means there's no exception. Any of you, there's no partiality. Any of you, there's no respect of persons. Any of you, anyone, anytime, anywhere. If any of you, because he's the creator of all, because his tender mercies are for everyone, and because of that universal love, he manifests his power to all his creatures and to all his children. If any of you, lack wisdom let him ask of god that give it to all men liberally that give it to all men liberally that give it to how many people i said how many people and how does he give liberally he give it to all men liberally he is going to give to you liberally he's going to solve that problem for you today liberally it's not going to be stingy. It's not going to hold anything back. He said, you have come, welcome. And as you have come, and he wants to bless this and bless this, as the blessings have been distributed this morning, it will get to your turn. I said it will get to your turn. And everything shakeable will be shaking out of your life today in Jesus' name because he gave it to all men. He'll give it to you. He'll give it to your wife give it to your children he give to our youth he'll give to our children he'll give to our students he'll give everyone here that prayer request you have in your hand this is the moment the lord is going to look at everything and the lord is going to answer that thing you have in your heart will this happen will this happen will that happen manna will come from heaven the rain of blessing will come from heaven because he gave it to all men liberally and upbraideth not and it shall be given him it shall be given him no doubt it shall be given him no wavering it shall be given him there is no maybe or perhaps it shall be given him look at verse 6 but let him ask in faith nothing wavering let him ask in faith nothing wavering for he that wavereth it's like a wave of the sea driven with the wind and tossed. Let not that man think that he shall receive anything of the Lord. A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. A, a double-minded man. The one that says, okay, I will, I will pray. 
But if nothing happens, I will go to one papa somewhere. I will pray. If nothing happens, I will consult idols. If nothing happens, I'll go to occultism. If nothing happens, I'll go to the negative side of life and go and try to get something out of darkness. A man that wavereth like that, a woman that wavereth like that, cannot receive anything but a person that knows that Jesus Christ is mighty. Is the incomparable Christ, the incomparable King. I am coming to Him today, and I am sure He's going to bless me. That assurance will be validated this morning in Jesus' name. Let's come back to verse 5. If any of you lack wisdom, that's just an item of what you might lack. If any of you lack love, that's another item you might lack. If any of you lack children, that's something somebody could lack. If any of you lack knowledge, that's something somebody could lack. If any of you lack success, that's something somebody could lack. If any of you lack healing, that's something that somebody may be asking for. If any of you lack deliverance, that's something you could be asking for. If any of you lack a wife or you lack a husband, that's something somebody could be asking for. If any of you lack children, that's something somebody could be asking for. If any of you lack a job, that's something somebody could be asking for. Whatever it is, if any of you lack, let him ask of God that give it to all men liberally and upbraideth not, and it shall be given him. I rejoice with you. Your blessing has come. I said, Your blessing has come. Confirm it by an amen. We're looking at uh, Romans chapter 4. Romans chapter 4. And we're looking at verse 17. Romans chapter 4, verse 17. Well, I'm leading you now through step by step until you go from nothing to everything. You go from poverty to prosperity. You go from sadness to happiness. And you go from lack unto supply. God will supply abundantly. In your life, a supply is coming. In your life, the power of God is coming. He will visit you in Jesus' name. Amen. Remember, we're talking about the incomparable king. Because there's no power like his. Incomparable. There's no love like his. Incomparable. There is no name like his. Incomparable. There's no salvation in any other. Incomparable. There's no healing like his healing. There's no deliverance like his deliverance. Incomparable is the king who saves, is the king who sanctifies, is the king who baptizes in the Holy Ghost, is the king who does all things well. He does all things well. Look at this. Romans chapter 4, I'm reading from verse 17, as it is written, I have made thee a father of many nations before him who may believe, even God, which quickness the dead, even God, which quickness the dead, everything that is dead in your life will have resurrection power today. Do you believe that? I said, do you believe that an arm that is dead will come alive? A leg that is dead will come alive. Kidneys that are dead will come alive. Livers that are dead will come alive. Those brain cells that are dead will come alive. That business will come alive. That family will come alive. Because God quickness the dead. It's not in the past tense. It's still doing it today. It's continual sin. He quickness the dead and he call it those things would be not as though they were. He call it those things would be not as though they were. He call it those things would be not as though they were. That's one step in your life. Today, you will not talk negative. I said you will not talk negative. You'll say, I have, I have. And somebody says, what is it? He call it those things would be not as though they were. I have healing. He call it those things would be not as though they were. I have deliverance. He call it those things would be not as though they were. I have a wife. He call it those things would be not as though they were. He, he, I have children. He call it those things would be not as though they were. I have all things. All things, all my needs are supplied because he called it those things would be not as though they were. 
your confession will be positive. Your affirmation will be positive. Verse 18, who against hope believed in hope. Who against hope believed in hope. The situation is hopeless. I believe in hope. And the circumstances are hopeless. I believe in hope. The news you are hearing from afar, it appears this is hopeless. It appears this has come to a level where nobody can do anything against hope. I have hope. I have hope. I have hope. I have hope. When everything is down, I believe it's coming up. When everything is hopeless, I believe I have hope. And that hope in you will resuscitate every good thing in your life in Jesus' name. And then it says that he might become, he might become, he might become. You will become. I said you will become. I said you will become. You will not remain as you have always been. You will not remain at the backyard. And you will not remain in the, you know, at the back where, you know, I'm always there. I'm always there. No, you will get out of that predicament in Jesus' name. That he may become the father of many nations according to that which was spoken. According to that which was spoken by God. If God has spoken anything. If God has uttered anything, if God has declared anything, that declaration, that utterance is coming to pass in your life in this period, in Jesus' name. So shall thy seed be. So shall your inheritance be. So shall your possession be. So shall your miracle be. So shall the answer to your prayer be. Is there any amen in the congregation? I'm being not weak in faith. I'm being not weak in faith. I'm being not weak in faith. Look up here. You know, a person may be weak in body, but he's not weak in faith. A person may be weak in strength, but he's not weak in faith. If you are weak any other area of your life, and there is one area you are not weak, you are not weak in faith. That faith that is strong, that faith that is mighty, will clear away every other area of weakness in your life, and it will be done today in Jesus' name. And be not weak in faith. He considered not his own body, now dead, when he was about a hundred years, neither yet the deadness of Sarah's womb. He did not consider the physical so that he can have the supernatural. He did not consider the earthly so that he might have the heavenly. He did not consider the natural so that he could have the supernatural. Look away from that natural circumstance. Look away from that physical thing. Look away from that thing that is threatening you. As if, you know, because of this, you cannot move forward. Look away from that and look up to heaven and your victory has come. I said your victory has come. He staggered not at the promise of God through unbelief. It was like unbelievable. He staggered not at the promise of God through unbelief. It was like incredible. How can this happen? But he staggered not at the promise of God through unbelief. I'm telling you, and the word of God is telling you today, something remarkable will happen in your life. And then it says, but she was strong in faith, giving glory to God and being fully persuaded. He was persuaded and fully persuaded. Are you persuaded today? That God is mighty. Are you fully persuaded that all things are possible with him? Are you fully persuaded he's going to solve your problem today? Are you fully persuaded? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. You are getting healed today. You are getting delivered today. All those chains are broken today in Jesus name. Because he was fully persuaded that what God has promised, he was able also to perform. It will happen. I said it will happen. Point number two, an unfailing faith in our incomparable king. Our unfailing faith in the incomparable king. Now understand, man, wherever man is, wherever man is, 
in whatever continent you find man in whatever generation where you find man in whatever institution you find man man is limited but we're talking about somebody king jesus incompressible we're talking about jesus christ unrestrained unrestricted unlimited you cannot compress him like you can compress a man a man you think about a man talk about his uh, qualification he has this he has this he has this you see tell me in one word tell me in a single sentence tell me in a single paragraph make a precise of what you are saying concerning the man you can compress that man that is a man in finance money is a man in an educational institution you can compress him to that is a man that is popular is a man that has this and this tell me in a single word in a single sentence you can compress them but you are talking about jesus you cannot compress him you cannot reduce him you cannot make a precise of what he can do because his power is unlimited because his love is unlimited it's not like man you know man it comes to a point when his skill will fail man comes to a time a point when his strength will fail man comes to a time a period in his life when his knowledge will fail when his helpers will fail him when his substance will fail and when even his foreign alliances will fail and his secret power will fail but god cannot fail i say god cannot fail and when you have faith in this incompressible christ it will pull you over i said it will pull you over look at the testimony concerning our king testimony concerning our lord mark chapter 7 Mark chapter 7 I'm reading from verse 37 Mark chapter 7 The last verse there And they were beyond measure Astonished Saying he has done All things well He has done All things well Now I'm talking about you Where are you? I said I'm talking about you this morning Where are you there? I said, I'm talking about you. Where are you there? He will do everything well in your life. Yeah. Everything well in your family. Yeah. Everything well in your business. Yeah. Everything well in your circumstances. Because that is Christ. Irreducible. That is Christ. Incompressible. That is Christ unlimited because he does all things well in every family here he'll do all things well on every child here he'll do all things all things well that deformity that you are that you came to the world with you know he can do all things well this morning and he can repair that deformity he can redeem that situation he will do all things well and the things that were seen, they say lack, and that's a need, and that's a problem. He will do all things well today. Because he has done all things well. Mark chapter 9. Mark chapter 9. I'm reading from verse 23. Mark chapter 9, verse 23. Nothing impossible for God. Nothing impossible for whoever believes on the Lord. Mark chapter 9. Verse 23, Jesus said unto him, If thou canst believe, all things are possible to him that believeth. All things are possible to him that believeth. Can you say that? All things are possible to him that believeth. Can you say that again? All things are possible to him that believeth. Think about this. Think about this now. Number one, that believeth that believeth what does that mean it means i believe now the next minute i believe i don't feel anything i keep on believing i've not seen something i keep on believing we finish this session i keep on believing 
In the afternoon, I keep on believing. I see my friend and he's asking me a question. I keep on believing. Somebody reminds me of the old time. I keep on believing. Somebody else is crying about the matter. I keep on believing. Somebody is discouraged. I keep on believing. He that believeth, he that believeth. I believe throughout the day. I believe throughout the week. I believe, I believe, I believe. Something must happen. I said something must happen. And then look at this, look at this. Verse 23, it says, All things are possible to him. To him. It may not happen in other people's lives because they're going up and down. They are oscillating. They are in the mountain, they are in the valley. But me, but me, say but me. To him that believeth, that individual, whatever is happening to the rest of the world, if that individual will say, I will be different. I believe the Lord. I believe he will heal me. I believe he'll deliver me. I believe he'll set me free. I believe impossibilities become possible in my life. All things are possible to him that believeth. Look at that word possible. Look at that word possible. There are many people that go around and then because of what they have been told. Mommy told me that when I was born, this, this and this happened. Daddy called me into a private meeting and said, now that you're an adult, I need to tell you what happened at the time you were about to be born. And then uncle told me, and therefore they bring into the vocabulary of their lives, impossible, impossible. Other people, you know, I've never gone there before. I've never seen that before. I've never touched that before. I never received anything before. I look at my life and I see a series of uncompleted projects. I never complete anything. And so they bring into their lives the language and the vocabulary impossible. Or maybe they have gone for a test somewhere. Medical examination. And the medical exam reads this and this and that. And then they bring into their lives the word impossible. But this man, I'm talking about you now. This woman, I'm talking about you now. This believer, I'm talking about you now. And it says, all things are, tell me the word, possible. All things are, shout out the word, possible. All things are possible to him that believeth. Hold on. Look at those words. All things. Some people say, you know, I try to moderate what I believe. I try to check myself on how I believe. And they say, because nobody can have everything. Ah, you have not read the Bible. And because they say, a jack of all trade is the master of none. Please, before you go on, give me the chapter and give me the verse. The chapter of the Bible that says a jack of all trade and master of none. And because of that, they don't understand that all things, all things in the area of health, all things in the area of knowledge, all things in the area of achievement, all things in the area of your family, all things in the area of your aspiration, all things in the area of your desires, all things in the area of the spiritual, all things. All things are possible. All things are possible. All things are possible unto him that believeth. It will happen in your life today in Jesus' name. We're looking at Mark chapter 11. Mark chapter 11. And I'm reading from verse 22. Mark chapter 11. And we're reading from verse 22. Mark chapter 11. What verse are you looking for there? I said what verse are you looking for there? Verse 22, and Jesus says unto them, have faith in God. And Jesus says unto me, have faith in God. And Jesus says unto you, have faith in God. Who was he talking to? Some people were crying, have faith in God. 
Who was he talking to? Some people who are discouraged have faith in God. Who was he talking to? Some people who are sick have faith in God. Who was he talking to? Some people that were jobless have faith in God. Who was he talking to? Some people that couldn't get married. They have not married. I tried, I tried, I tried. They always say no, have faith in God. Some people that didn't have husband have faith in God. Some people that didn't have a home have faith in God. Some people that did not have satisfaction in life have faith in God. He was talking to some people that have never made it in life. Have faith in God. He was talking to some people that have reduced themselves to nothing. And they say, I've never got it. I've never got it. I've never got it. And he says, have faith in God. He was talking to everyone. And he's talking to you today. And Jesus answering says unto them, have faith in God. For verily I say unto you, certainly I say unto you that you so Ever. Look at that. That whosoever, you understand? The same way you were saved, whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. The same way you are saved, the same way you get healed. The same way you are saved, the same way you get delivered. The same way you are saved, the same way you have a job. The same way you are saved, the same way you have marriage. The same way you are saved, the same way you have a miracle. Whosoever, that's how you got saved. Whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Now, the whosoever has come back to you. Whosoever shall save unto this mountain. Any mountain in your life will talk to that mountain today. Whosoever shall say to this mountain, Be thou removed and be cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart. Shall not doubt in his heart. How do you know somebody who does not doubt in his heart? That's the person that will not look at circumstance. That the person that says, I believe it shall be as it was told me. I believe it will be as I've read. I believe it shall be as I've heard. He will not doubt in his heart. He keeps on believing in the morning. He keeps on believing. He's calling those things which be not as though they were. He's full of expectation. And he says, my miracle is coming. My miracle has come. He says, and he doubts not in his heart and shall believe that those things which he says shall come to pass, he shall have. He shall have. He shall have. He shall have whatsoever he says. Look at the connection. Whosoever, whatsoever. Whosoever, whatsoever. Whosoever, whatsoever. Can you think of whatsoever in your life? An area you desire? An area you are praying for? An area you are claiming? An area you are saying, that's it, that says, and it says, whatsoever is happening today in Jesus' name. Therefore, in verse 24, I say unto you, what things soever ye desire, when ye pray, believe that ye receive them, and ye shall have them. And ye shall have them. There's no failure today. You will not miss it today. Because we are strong in faith, giving glory unto God. Point number three, an undeniable faith in our incorruptible king. An undeniable faith in our incorruptible king. That means he will not deny you. I said the Lord will not deny you. I said the Lord will not deny you. If you are the person I'm talking to, let heaven hear your amen. Acts of the Apostles, chapter 15. It says in verse 9, And put no difference between us and them. And put no difference between us and them. And put no difference between us and them. Have you ever thought about that? Many people... Probably all people, except real, real believers, they put difference between the white and the black. But God and put no difference between us and them. Many people, they put difference between the Jew or the Gentile. They put difference between the man or the woman. They put difference between the member and the newcomer. 
They put difference between the leader and the follower and put no difference between us and them. They put difference between apostles and uh, the ordinary people and put no difference between us and them. They put difference between blind Bartimaeus and themselves. They put difference between this and that and they say, he could get it, how can I? He could have that, how can I? But God put no difference. And today, there's no difference. As a blessing A, it's going to bless B. As a blessing those on top, it's going to bless those below. As a blessing those who are high, it's blessing everyone that is low and will raise you up in Jesus' name. And put no difference between us and them, purifying their hearts by faith purifying their hearts by faith everything comes by faith he pardons your sins by faith he saves your soul by faith he purifies your heart by faith he makes you holy by faith he grants you power the dynamite of the holy ghost all by faith purging their souls by faith cleansing their lives by faith transforming their character by faith Baptizing them with the Holy Ghost by faith. Making them victorious by faith. Keeping them strong by faith. Keeping them up by faith. And putting energy and strength and power in their lives by faith. Whatever it is, is doing that. And it's doing that by faith. And it's coming your way. I said it's coming your way. Romans chapter 1. Verse 17. Romans chapter 1, verse 17. For therein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith. From faith to faith. Saving faith, saving them by faith. From faith to faith. Sanctifying faith, sanctifying them by faith. Saving faith, empowering them. And doing them with power from an eye. All by faith. From faith to faith. Healing them by faith. From faith to faith. Delivering them by faith. From faith to faith. Energizing them. Making them strong by faith. It says from faith to faith. Encouraging them by faith. From faith to faith. Working miracles in their lives by faith. Whatever we need. From faith to faith. I see the faithful people there you're full of faith and today the lord will roll those problems away in jesus name and then you'll be able to say he has done all things well he has done all things well in your life this morning he has done all things well it will happen i said it will happen from faith to faith as it is reaching the just shall live by faith in Ephesians chapter 3 Ephesians chapter 3 I'm reading from verse 17 Ephesians chapter 3 reading from verse 17 that Christ may dwell in your hearts by faith you see that by faith that she be rooted and grounded in love may be able to comprehend with all saints what is the breadth, the length, and the depth, and the height, and to know the love of Christ, which passes knowledge, that she might be filled, filled, filled with all the fullness of God. What a glorious morning. I said, what a glorious morning. Now unto him that is able our God is able this morning. Unto him that is able, wipe those tears away. We're coming to a God who answers prayer this morning. Now unto him that is able, able to do, exceeding abundantly, above all that we ask or think, according to the power that worketh where? That worketh where? Make it personal. That worketh where? That walketh in me. That power is going to work in your life today. Impossibilities are becoming possible now. Your sickness is going away now. 
your infirmity is going away now that brain damage is vanishing away right now and that debilitating disease making you weak and weak and weak everything is going away right now because your time has now come because all things tell me all things tell me ah you have forgotten your scripture all things are possible to who to him that believeth rise up and see it possible get up now and see it possible the power of the lord is coming upon your life right now get up and see it made possible it's happening right now it's happening right now all things possible all things possible all things possible all things possible to him that believeth the lord wants to save you if you need salvation the Lord wants to sanctify you if you need sanctification. He wants to heal your body if you need healing. He wants to perform a miracle if you need a miracle there. He'll turn everything around, never say impossible again. Open your mouth and tell the Lord, tell him what you want. Tell him what you need. Tell him what your desires are. And you are telling him, oh Lord, I am here. I know, I know. Today is my day of breakthrough. With all seriousness and with all faith, and with all desire this is your time why don't you tell the lord right now why don't you tell the lord right now and that peculiar that peculiar demand and that peculiar request you are telling the lord now oh lord here is a place here is a problem here is what aches me here is what i'm suffering here is a challenge here is a difficulty call upon the lord call upon the lord call upon the lord all things are possible yes that thing is possible healing that thing is possible deliverance that thing is possible dominion that thing is possible miracle that thing there is possible is possible provision that thing is possible getting that inheritance that thing is possible tell the lord right there tell the lord right there and once you have told the lord and you say in jesus name this is my need and there's an the area of my concern Count it down. Count it down. Speak to that mountain and tell it to be removed out of your life. Speak to that mountain. Let it go. Let it go. Release it. Send it away. That apparent impossibility in your life, say no. And speak to that mountain of long standing problem. Because our king is incomparable. He will do it. He will do he must do it. He must do it. He must do it. You are calling those things would be not as though they were. You're not afraid. And there's no doubt. If anybody lacks anything, let him ask of God. Let him ask of God. Let him ask of God. He give it to all men, you inclusive. He giveth unto all men. You're included. He'll give it to you. He will give it to you. He must give it to you. Liberally, liberally, liberally. God is able. God is able to do. Able to do. Exceeding abundantly. Above all that we ask or sing. According to the power that worketh in us. This is your day make use of it this is your chance make use of this this is your opportunity receive it's done the problem is being solved right now this name cannot fail face in that name face in that name face in that name has made this man strong this man whole whom you see sound perfect in health all things are possible all things are possible all things are possible all things are possible to me as I believe to you as you believe 
believing, believing, believing all things possible. All things possible. No complaint again, face. No doubt again, face. No wavering anymore, face. No dilly dally anymore, face. Face. He answers prayer. He answers prayer. God answers prayer. Telling something definite, telling something specific, telling a definite need, and believe, and believe. Whatever other thoughts come to your mind, overlook that. I believe, I believe, I believe. He'll change everything that needs to be changed. Transform every area of your life that needs to be transformed. There's no sickness he cannot heal. There's no infirmity he cannot take away. There is no yoke he cannot break. There is no curse he cannot remove. There's no limitation he cannot cancel. Pinpoint the problem and believe without any shadow of doubt the problem is solved. In Jesus' name we pray. If you are there and you believe, in Jesus' name we pray. Say after me, all things are possible to me because I believe. All things are possible today because I believe. All things are possible in my life because I believe. Lord Jesus, touch my life now. Lord Jesus, remove this mountain now. I believe. I accept. I call those things which be not as though they were. My needs are supplied. My prayer is answered. My sickness is healed. My yoke is broken. I am free. I am free. I am free. I am free. I will not say anything different anymore. I will not say anything different anymore. I have received. I have received. I have received. Let the heavens hear. I have received. Raise up your hand. Now you believe. Am I right? I said, Now you believe. Am I right? During the day, I believe. All through this period, I believe. You will see it done. Father, in Jesus' name, according to your word, whosoever shall say to this mountain, Be thou removed, and be cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he says shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever he says. Lord, I speak to the mountain in every life here present and every life of the people hearing your word now. Mountain, I command you, 
come out in Jesus name sickness be healed in Jesus name infirmity be taken away in Jesus name impossibilities become possible in Jesus name I pray that every item of prayer, every request of prayer that your people have asked one by one, do it for everyone in Jesus' name. Give everyone their healing, their deliverance, the miracle, signs and wonders in every life. Lord, I pronounce your name, the name that cannot fail upon everyone every brother every sister and everyone in need and i pray that that name will roll away all those problems you have mentioned from your life in jesus name lord confirm each in every life confirm each in every life i thank you because i know it is done in jesus name we pray thank god it is done.